Hi Year Nines, in this video I'm going to take you through your jumper construction. So all of you should have done some research based on what kind of jumper and what style you would like to make. This could either be a jumper with a pocket or a hoodie with a pocket and a hood. It's up to you. So I've found some inspiration on the internet and I've come up with four design options for myself. So I'm going with a blue, a navy blue body two white sleeves and I'm going to have bright pink ribbing for the neck, the waistband and the cuffs. So on my little design sheet it's design number one. So in this video I'm going to take you through cutting out the pattern um, for your jumper. So I have a size small jumper pattern, okay so I've got the pamphlet here and it contains all the pieces. And I also have my instructions. So in your booklet, it is going to be page one, okay? And you need to know the design of your jumper. So you need to know if you're going to have a pocket or a hood so that you can get the appropriate pieces. Now, before we start, we need to look at the fabric that we have. So when looking at fabric, there are two sides. We have the raw edge, which in my instance is the top edge. And this is the edge that has been cut by the person in the shop. Okay? We then also have the selvage. So the selvage is the edge that when this fabric was made, okay, it is binded together, all right, and it is not going to fray. You can tell the difference from looking at the, the way it's cut, all right, and the selvage often has little dots running down the side that were put there in manufacturing. So before we start, I've already laid out some of my pattern pieces, but what we need to do is we need to fold our fabric in half, selvage to selvage. So down this side here is a selvage, and down this side is a selvage. So we're going to fold them together, and lay it out. Oops. When doing this, remember that you need lots of space, okay? And then I'm going to grab my pattern piece. Now the reason why I folded it in half is because this pattern piece asks us to place this side on a fold, all right, so that when we're cutting it out, we're going to open it up and that will be the front and the back of your jumper. So we need to make sure that we are using our space wisely, okay, so we don't just want to put the pattern right in the middle of this piece of fabric, we want to make sure that we are lining everything up so that we can be as effective as possible with the fabric that we have to avoid any wastage. So I've got my front, uh, my front, my back, one of my sleeves, well, one sleeve, and I'm going to cut two of them out, and all of my ribbing is over here laid out. Now we need to make sure that when looking at the pattern, it asks that the stretch of the fabric is going across ways. So across your body is the stretch, okay? And when we're pulling up and down, it shouldn't stretch as much. So you need to make sure that you have got it right, which I have. You then need to decide what you're going to make. So mine asks for it, on the pattern it says a jumper or a hoodie. So I'm making a jumper, so I need to make mine about this much smaller. So I can fold this up, okay? to make it a bit shorter in the body. Now, if you don't get this right the first time, that's fine, there's plenty of time for us to change this around. But if you can get it done, that will avoid um, us having to cut big chunks of your fabric out as you're going along, okay? The next step for us is once we've got this all right, we need to start pinning everything down. Now, remember, in your instructions here, there are diagrams that show you how to lay the fabric out and put the pattern pieces on to use all of the fabric effectively, okay? So we reduce the amount of waste that we have. So I'm going to get on to pinning. I've got my fabric, my pattern pieces in place and I'm going to start pinning everything down. When we're pinning, we want to make sure that we're going through both layers of the fabric, okay? And we want to really look at pinning the most important parts, which are the corners, okay? But for a long side like this, you might want to have one pin in the middle just to make sure that it's not moving. If you rush the pinning and if you don't put enough pins in, this will take up your time when it comes to cutting and you haven't 
got your jumper in um, the best shape that it could be because the fabric has moved heaps. So try and pin in as many places as you can. Okay, so I have now pinned all parts of my jumper pattern onto all of the fabric here. So what I need to do now is I need to go through and I need to cut out all of these patterns. Now remember, when it says it's on a fold, you need to not cut that, okay, so that when we open it up, it becomes one bigger piece. Some of them will ask you to cut two, okay, others just cutting one on the fold. So you need to make sure that you've read through your instructions and you know what parts you are cutting. When cutting, you need to have some sharp fabric scissors and you need to take long strides rather than short nippy strides. This way we will keep the cuts nice and straight and it will make it easier for us to sew. So please go ahead and cut out all of your pattern pieces now. Now that you've cut out all of your fabric, from the appropriate pattern pieces, it's important to remember these next few tips. All of the patterns need to be folded up neatly and put back in the pouch that you got from school. As you're going along, take all of the pins out and pop them back into the pin holder. And make sure that you have some fabric chalk. So it's important to have some fabric chalk because this is the back of our jumper. Okay, so I'm going to label it with a B so that I can see which piece is the back and which piece is the front. I'm going to label these so that I know that these are the cuff and this is the neckband. Okay, make sure you do this because when, we, when it comes to making the jumper, the back will attach to certain parts of the sleeve and the cuffs go in a different place to the neckband and it makes it a lot easier for you when it comes to constructing your jumper.